this patient presented in the ENT clinic with chronic separative otitis media with facial paralysis and with impending intracranial complications. He was having vomiting and severe headache. Now he was admitted and uh, he was prepared for mastoid exploration. This mastoid exploration was done endoscopically using a 2.7 millimeter 30 degree endoscope. We had seen in this case you can see after two months of surgery you can see the cavity there is nicely epithelized cavity even in the canal you can see some formation of wax in these cases it is very important to follow up with the same set of special instruments where you have to do the cleaning of the mastoid cavity the same curved instruments are required during the follow-up of a case done through a endoscopic approach now in this case here you can see during the follow-up we have we are using the halogen light with a three chip camera most of the time when we are using halogen light with a three chip camera this gives a reddish hue to the video this is nearly six months after the surgery this video is recorded after six months nearly six months after the surgery and you can see the nicely epithelized cavity the posterior superior canal wall you can see it was the opening of this mastoid cavity was made sufficiently large by using big diamond burrs you can see the disease is limited to the attic and the entrum. Over a period of time, the facial paralysis improved in this case. You can see the post oral the area, there is no scar in the post oral region or in the end oral region. This is a case done through the canal using endoscopes. There is a small white pearl in the canal. This is usually there when we are leaving a little bit of epithelial tissue, squamous epithelium beneath the skins. There is formation of pearl as you can see in this canal. Then there is a nicely healed epithelized cavity with little formation of some, some wax. You can see the wax in the canal. And this is a very nicely epithelized healed cavity. And it is nearly after one year of the surgery. Now during the follow-up we have to remove this wax and the debris if it is there in the mastoid cavity. And this can be done easily using endoscopes.